Hi, welcome back. This is Mr. Gaming Musician with number 14 of the top 25 games of all time. And coming in at number 14 had to be Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. Now, this game is extremely cool. Uh, now, granted, I still think DKC3 is better. But Donkey Kong Country 2 is still pretty amazing. The pirate theme was really great. The overworld, they did a good job with it. I mean, it's really not something you generally see in a kid's game. The overworld had a scary, menacing look to it. Which, you know, that's one of the reasons I had ratted on it in my earlier videos, saying that's the reason that I put DKC3 ahead, because, you know, not, not a lot of little kids would like an environment like that but <clears throat> for people like me like if if I was that age back in 1995 I'd probably really like that so with that said let me go ahead and get into some of the reasons why I like and unfortunately some of the reasons I dislike this game <coughs> The reasons why I like this game is because, really for the first time, you take, you, you, the main role is your sidekick. The main role is the main character's sidekick, not the main character. Donkey Kong is the main character, Diddy is his sidekick, and he is the main character that you play as. Donkey Kong has been captured by Pirate K. Rule, I don't know what his name is. I know he has like some kind of special name. Uh but I'm I'm just not bothered to actually take the time to look it up, I guess. Um but still some really cool things about this game is all the abilities that you have with uh Diddy and Dixie Kong. She's an addition. Apparently she's Diddy's girlfriend. And, uh, well, she has the ponytail thing. The same thing that Tiny has in Donkey Kong 64, if you've played that. Which I'm sure most of you have at least played Donkey Kong 64. <clears throat> so. Now let me get into the main reason why I actually don't like this game. And another reason that I put it behind. I'm sure this will bring back a lot of bad memories. The Bramble Levels. Like, you know, like uh, Bramble Briars or something like that. Bramble Scramble, of course, is the most known one. Uh, really, it just gets annoying. Because, especially in the one, I'm pretty sure it's Bramble Scramble, where you have that long, drawn-out bit with the freaking barrels. That just got annoying. Quick, too. It was just unbelievably drawn-out. You didn't need to make that segment that long. And... Really, I guess in the end, I enjoyed the challenge, but still, there's a point where you need to say, okay, they've been through enough. Bramble Scramble? I didn't see that point. I died multiple times in that level. I died like, if I remember correctly, I died seven times just getting through that one section, let alone the entire level of Bramble Scramble. So, that's really all I gotta say for now about that. I will say one last thing about Donkey Kong Country 2. I enjoyed a lot of the boss fights. You know, that's, a, that's another thing that I really like. Like the fight with the sword. Uh, of course, the fight with King K. Rule himself. The fight with the giant bird. The fight with the ghost of the giant bird. The fight with the big guy who th who, who stomps the ground. 
and you have to blow him up with the TNT barrels. Of course, that part was awesome. <clears throat> but the boss fights are probably the most enjoyable part of this game. So, with that, I will bid you adieu. Bye.